Intermediate Algebra Section 9.7 Applications of Logarithmic Functions. We're going to look at several examples here to show you the variety of areas that have formulas that use logarithms in them. And in this first problem, it states the average number of boats on a lake can be approximated by the function n is equal to 40 times the natural log of t plus 50, where t is the high temperature for the day in degrees Fahrenheit. Approximate the number of boats on the lake if the high temperature is 90 degrees. So they're asking us to find the number of boats, that would be n, that we're looking for, and they're telling us that the temperature is 90 degrees, it's in Fahrenheit, and the formula states that the T temperature is in degrees Fahrenheit. So we're all set to go. There's nothing to solve other than simplifying the expression. We'll take 40 times the natural log of T, which is 90, plus 50, according to the formula. Using a, self, a scientific calculator then to simplify this, we're using natural log and following the order of operations, I will tap the natural log key of 90, multiply it by 40 next in our order of operations, and then after hitting equals, I will tap the plus 50 to do the last order of operation, any addition or subtraction. That results in 229.9, rounding to the nearest whole number, which I would suspect with boats would be appropriate. So on a 90 degree day for this lake, approximately 230 boats should be expected. You can test your calculators. Scientific calculators do know order of operations to a certain degree, and you may be able to enter this exactly as is and generate that expression, but test your calculator to make sure that you are solving it correctly. In this next example, we have a problem from the military world. The function p equal 90 minus 30 times the log, and this is a common logarithm of n, models the percent p of the recruits remaining in a rigorous military training program where n is the number of days into the program. What percent of the recruits are still in the program after 54 days? So they're asking us for the number of, or percent of recruits, that would be p that we're looking for, and it tells us that the program has been running 54 days, and that would be what n is equal to. This example, similar to the last one, is just a matter of simplifying once we've replaced the variable with the information that was given. So we have 90 minus 30 times the log of n, n being the number of days into the program, which is given as 54. So using a scientific calculator to simplify this particular example, again following order of operations, but using the common logarithm, so the common logarithm of 54, gives us the following value, multiplying that by 30 results in a 51.97. We could change the sign and then subtract it from 90 or add it to 90 by changing the sign. Or in this particular model calculator, in the bottom row we have an answer key. And the answer, when we tap that button, brings up the answer to the previous calculation, which in this case is the 51.97. So I will enter 90 minus and then tap the answer button, which it all it shows is ANS, short for answer, which would be the 51.97. Then tap the equals, which is giving us a 38 and rounding to the nearest tenth, we would say 38 percent of the original recruits are remaining in this vigorous program. Here we have an example dealing with chemistry. The pH of a liquid is 6.5. Find its hydrogen ion concentration. Use the formula pH is equal to negative log h to the plus power, where h to the plus power is the representation for the 
hydrogen ion concentration. So that's what we're looking for. It's asking us to find the hydrogen ion concentration and that is the hydrogen ion concentration. They're giving us that the pH is 6.5 and that's what the formula starts with. So we will replace pH with the given value of 6.5 is equal to negative common log which would be base 10 of H to the plus power. We could take this uh, and put it in exponential form as a way of solving it. First thing though I want to get rid of that negative out in front so divide both sides or multiply both sides by negative 1 so we have a negative 6.5 is equal to log base 10 of our h to the plus power. Putting this in exponential form then an equivalent would be 10 to the negative 6.5 power is equal to our hydrogen ion concentration. So a matter of taking a scientific calculator and whether we use our power key or exponential key or if we use the anti-log which is above the common logarithm 10 to the and that one seems maybe the easiest since it already has our base entered in that so to activate that I will tap the shift and the log key so that I have 10 will enter the power that 10 is raised to and to put a negative I'll use this key negative 6.5 power and tap the equals and we end up with a value of 3.16 and it's a rather small and if you notice here on the display we have scientific notation times 10 to the negative 0.07 power is the hydrogen ion concentration. The other alternative that we could have done to solve this problem is to take the anti-log of each side. 